YouTube has an amazing library of free movies you can watch right now, but the platform doesn't do a great job of showing you everything it has to offer. So I've done the work for you and found the best movies available to stream for free right now on YouTube, and I put the links to each of the movies down in the description. So let's go ahead and jump into number 10, Coach Carter. Good afternoon, young men. Are you some preacher, man? Because God ain't gonna do you no good in this neighborhood. Leave the gym. I ain't scared of nobody. Because I'll lay you out. I don't think so. Teachers ain't supposed to touch students. I'm not a teacher. I'm the new basketball coach. Kicking off our list is an inspiring sports drama starring Samuel L. Jackson. Coach Carter is based on the true story of a high school basketball coach who makes headlines by benching his undefeated team due to their collective academic record. This is a powerful tale of discipline, leadership, and the true meaning of success. While this is no perfect film, its message packs quite the punch and Samuel L. Jackson delivers one of his best performances of his career. Switching gears into comedy, at number nine, we've got Zoolander. <laughs> The fashion industry has been behind every major political assassination over the last 200 years. I'm behind every hit, a male model. So why male models? They do as they're told. That is not true. Yes, it is, Derek. Okay. When I was in seventh grade, I became bulimic. You can read minds. Directed by and starring Ben Stiller, we've got a powerhouse cast that also includes Owen Wilson, Christine Taylor, Will Ferrell, and much more. Derek Zoolander, played by Stiller, has been the undisputed top male model for years, but his career starts to decline as he loses the coveted Male Model of the Year award to an up-and-comer named Hansel, played by Owen Wilson. If you're in the mood for laughs and unforgettable quotes, What is this? Zoolander will not let you down. All right, and at number eight, we've got The Hunger Games. The time has come to select one courageous young man and woman for the honor of representing District 12 in the 74th annual Hunger Games. Jennifer Lawrence stars in this dystopian thriller that's set in Pan Am, the ruins of what was once North America. Every year, this new nation forces each of its 12 districts to send a teenage boy and girl to compete in the Hunger Games where they fight to the death on live TV. It's a very well done adaptation of the book series. And by the way, the entire trilogy, it's four films, but we gotta do this thing now where we break up the last movie into two. Anyway, the entire series is available to stream for free on YouTube right now. At number seven, we've got the sleeper, Freaks. Chloe! Chloe! What are you doing? Someone could have seen you. You know the punishment for breaking the rules. No, Dad! You opened the door. You almost got us killed. This is a hidden gem offering a unique blend of science fiction and drama. It paints a gripping tale of a young girl discovering the world after being locked away inside her home by her paranoid father. As the story unfolds, you realize there's much more to her family than meets the eye. The story takes a little bit to get going, but when it does, it is emotional, hard-hitting, and thoroughly captivating. I strongly encourage you to go into this one completely blind, and I'm confident you'll enjoy the ride. All right, at number six, we've got once Upon a Time in America. They ask us to get rid of Joe. Tomorrow they ask me to get rid of you. Is that okay with you? Because it's not okay with me. Open it! You wanna go swimming? Yeah, let's go for a swim. You're the only person that I've ever cared about. This is an epic crime drama directed by Sergio Leone and starring Robert De Niro, James Woods, Elizabeth McGovern, Joe Pesci, and more. This cinematic masterpiece is a succession of events spanning over 50 years, broken down into complex interlocking stories between different planes and moments in a skillful game of flashbacks and flash forwards. At nearly four hours, this is no quick treat. It's a five course meal that'll leave you deeply satisfied in contemplating the intricacies of friendship, ambition, love, betrayal, and the passage of time. All right, at number five, we've got the only documentary in the list, Blackfish. They're an animal that possesses great spiritual power not to be meddled with. 
silicone, though, is the one that went after her. All whales in captivity are all psychologically traumatized. This is a compelling look into the controversial captivity of killer whales. It's an eye-opener that will make you rethink everything you know about marine theme parks. While this one won't give you the warm and fuzzies, it's certainly important for this story to be told, and I'm glad I was able to see the truth behind this dark business. All right, at number four, we've got The King's Speech. Do you know any jokes? Timing isn't my strong suit. La, 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 la. Up comes your royal highness. It's actually quite good fun. Yes. <laughs> oh. Art thou feared. It's your peculiar. I take that as a compliment. Royalty, history, and personal challenges come together in this beautiful film starring Colin Firth. As King George VI struggles with his speech impediment, he finds an unexpected ally in his speech therapist. A heartfelt story of friendship, duty, and finding one's voice. The reviews of this film vary wildly, so I would encourage you to go into this one with fresh eyes and judge it for yourself. Coming in at number three, Castaway. Tom Hanks delivers a masterful performance in this survival drama where he plays a man stranded on a deserted island after a plane crash, where he battles loneliness, hopelessness, and of course, the elements. For 90 minutes, Robert Zemeckis demonstrates his ability as a storyteller to create a compelling lost at sea film without unnecessary devices like wild animals or rogue pirates. If you consider yourself a movie lover, you've probably already seen this film, and if that's the case, why not give it another watch now? All right, at number two, one that I hold near and dear to my heart, The Illusionist. Tonight, I give you ice. Do you know me? No. Let her go. Stay away from her. She knew his secret. A secret. I'll advise you not to accuse anyone. Starring Edward Norton, Paul Giamatti, and Jessica Biel, this magical film was released around the same time as The Prestige, but got far less attention. Set in 19th century Vienna, a magician named Eisenheim reconnects with his childhood love, Duchess Sophie, now engaged to a prince. As Eisenheim uses illusions to win Sophie back and challenge the prince's authority, the chief inspector tries to discover the secrets behind his acts, culminating in a suspenseful game of deception and intrigue. I've always felt this movie was underrated, and I think it just really didn't work out well for the film that The Prestige came out like two months later, which I love The Prestige as well, but I think that's ultimately why The Illusionist just didn't get the attention it deserved. So if you've been avoiding this one up until now, it's time you check it out. All right, just a quick note as we move into number one that I put out videos like this every week. So if you love movies just as much as I do, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. All right, at number one, we have Train to Busan. A father and his daughter board a train from Seoul to Busan, and just as the journey begins, a zombie outbreak engulfs the country. Trapped on board with infected passengers, they and a group of survivors must navigate treacherous alliances, heart-pounding situations, and moral dilemmas to stay alive, making it a gripping tale of survival, sacrifice, and family ties. This is not just your typical zombie apocalypse movie. It's a thrilling ride filled with suspense, emotion, and some incredibly intense action sequences. Don't make the same mistake I did and sleep on this movie for another day. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Okay, that'll do it for this list. And in this video, I share 20 incredibly good movies available on Max right now. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.